the league is embedded in its communities of its 72 clubs. Uh, those communities are vital. At the heart of each of them is a football league club which the local people and many others outside that community care a lot about. It's part of their identity and part of their passion. We've been keeping that heart beating for 125 years. We're incredibly proud of it. Well, it's a fantastic anniversary in the history of football worldwide, not just in this country. It's an incredibly important moment uh, in, in that history, the world's first football league. From, from that, the Football League founded in 1888, here in Manchester as well, where the National Football Museum is based. Um, we now have not only uh, a fantastically successful Football League and the Premier League here in England, but football leagues all around the world. And it all goes back to that moment in 1888 when Will William McGregor uh, from Aston Villa and the other founder members decided to set up the world's first football league. We actually asked all of the 72 clubs to choose an historic object which um, defined their relationship with the football league. Now the range of those things is incredible. There is a totem pole which celebrates Wiccan Wanderers promotion. There are Alf Ramsey's medals from Egypt. There's a huge banner thanking the fans from Cheltenham Town. There is a ceremonial Sikh sword from Brentford. They all chose such a wonderful array of objects. So, no matter which of those 72 clubs of the current Football League you're a fan of, there is something here for you. We're an organisation that continually tries to innovate and evolve, and a classic example of that is the playoff. Let, how do we make it more exciting? How do we make it more relevant? How do we resolve some of the fundamental issues of the game? Because unless you have a culture of continuous improvement, you go backwards. And the Football League has always looked ahead and tried to get better every year. This is very much a celebration of all those 72 current members but of course, given 125 years of history, there are many other clubs no longer in the Football League or also in the Premier League now are also, of course, uh, featured in the exhibition. It really is a celebration of uh, 125 years of football. Well, my um, favourite Football League moment was the uh, Leicester City winning the League Cup against Middlesbrough uh, at Hillsborough. And uh, that, that, that late goal in the replay is my favourite moment, but I'm a bit biased because I'm a Leicester City fan. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> What's unique is, it's obviously such an historic moment, but there's a, a fantastic array of memorabilia uh, in the exhibition. There's one amazing feature, which is we've got George Best Mini, which is a fantastic thing to have at the heart of the exhibition, because the exhibition is also celebrating some of the great players in the Football League, uh, and George Best was clearly one of those icons. The future of the Football League is, is once again growing, successful, clubs becoming more financially viable as financial fair play and salary cost management protocol works. We've got really good media deals in place now to help our communities afford the football clubs they deserve, so I'm looking forward to a successful decade ahead. It's been a great partnership between the National Football Museum and the Football League and it's been really great for us to be part of the celebrations of the world's sort of first original league.
just gonna. And then Kevin, if we if we sort of been having a chat about the I'm about just that's it, that's it. Yeah. The question I ought to know the answer to is how many football leagues are there in the world? Because if we invent the first one, he invents the first one. Hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. Yeah.